Clark Jones and Jacob Combs thought they were embarking on a luxury cruise to Mexico, only to be stranded at sea for five days with no electricity, plumbing, or fresh food. When the two friends finally make it to dry land, they believe their odyssey is over. So we get off the ship, and we're walking on this bus, and we're thinking, let's do this thing, we're getting home. 45 minutes later, Trip from Hell, part two. There is a sound of almost kind of like a rattling or a bouncing. The bus driver turns the bus off, and starts it again, kind of has the white chugga sound, and stops. Sorry, folks. This bus isn't going anywhere. That's it. <laughs> we were like, seriously? Of course this is happening. This is just, why wouldn't the bus break down? Four hours later, Jacob and Clark catch another bus to New Orleans, where they board a plane for Texas. Neither has showered for five days, but their trip from hell isn't over yet. I was smelly, so people around me were just gross. By this time, Jacob and I had it swept. We were ready to go. And then our departure time passes. I think it was supposed to be 8.30. And then it was 9 o'clock. And it was 9.15. It was 9.45. The pilot came over, the loudspeaker. This is your captain speaking. We're experiencing some difficulties, and we'll need to deplane. We apologize for any inconvenience. I appear to be a bad luck charm. Anytime I am on a bus or a plane, or any mode of transportation that involves a motor. Just get off, wait for the next one. By the time Jacob and Clark finally reach home, they figure they've spent more time stranded by mechanical failure than actually vacationing. They are reimbursed for the trip from hell and given vouchers for a future cruise. After all of this, I got a good story, I got a good friend, and I got a free cruise. <laughs> This is absolutely not the vacation I had in mind, but it was an adventure of a lifetime.